And my name is Patricia Shields. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Information Risk Management in Cheltenham. Well, I've always worked in IT from the very beginning. Um, I started my career working for the local government uh, computer services board. Um, and that was at a time when the internet was in its infancy and we hadn't really uh, had a, a security industry um, as we have it today. Um, so I've always worked in IT um, and I guess I worked for a lot of internet companies through the years um, and in 2008 I incorporated my own company which is a software company um, that built governance risk and compliance software. Um, that company was acquired by IRM in 2012 and I find myself working for IRM today. Um, so a typical day for me, um, there's lots of meetings. Um, I interact with all areas of the business from sales to delivery to finance to project management. So I have to meet with all of those people on a daily basis um, to ensure the smooth running of the company. Uh, worst bits, too many meetings. <laughs> Best bits, um, I suppose, when we get customers telling us that we're doing a good job, they're happy with the work and the standards of the work we produce, um, and that gives everybody a sense of achievement um, and just the acknowledgement from customers, basically. You know, there's loads of information online, there's a wealth of information there, um, and because there's so much information, uh, sometimes uh, I would recommend they actually go and speak to people who work in the industry, maybe find themselves a mentor, somebody who's interested in them and the career and works in the industry and can guide them and give them a proper, proper steer on where they can go and what would suit them. I think if you're a young person coming into the industry and you're uh, in the technical area, um, the best idea is for you to be able to have a breadth of skills um, I know a lot of people uh, that I've worked with over the years um, and they've worked in the technical side of um, the industry and at the age of 35 and 40 they find themselves somewhat pigeonholed and um, not able to grow and expand their careers any further. Um, and what I would recommend is that you always uh, try and access and get exposure to the business side of the industry as well. Work in a company that gives you the opportunities to do that. Um, so you'll have your technical skills, but you'll also understand the business side of things and you'll be able to articulate the technical things that you do every day into the business language that you need to know.